with Airbnb pulling back ever so slightly since reaching a market cap of $100 billion, I'm beginning to reconsider the stock. After doing some research into the business, here are my major pros and cons. Hey everybody, my name's Connor and welcome to my channel Trade in Places. My aim is to help you take advantage of the stock market so your money can work for you so you don't have to. In this video, I'm going to cover the main reasons why I think it's a good idea to own shares in Airbnb, but also pointing out what I believe would be a good price to buy the stock. So let's look at why I'm interested then. Airbnb is disrupting the holiday rental industry, which is reportedly worth $1 trillion and has quickly become one of the leaders in this sector. Airbnb's reported revenue and customer growth also suggests that they will continue to gain market share from their peers. However, it's not just the hotel and holiday sector that Airbnb is going after. As international travel stopped because of the pandemic, Airbnb has accelerated its push into long-term stays. This category connects users with accommodation that is available for one to three months and moves Airbnb a step closer to disrupting the traditional home rental market. With estate agents ripe for replacement, I think that Airbnb has an enormous opportunity to dramatically increase its total addressable market by expanding on its short-term travel offering with long-term property rentals. Lastly, Airbnb is increasingly adding more services to its platform beyond merely a place to stay. The company is transforming that platform into an entire marketplace where customers can now book local tours, events, restaurants, and more. So that all sounds great. You've got a market leader within a $1 trillion travel industry, which also seems to hold the key to the long-term rental market. However, there are things that concern me about the stock of Airbnb, starting with the valuation. Despite being valued at $18 billion in their last funding round, Airbnb announced that they would be pricing shares between $44 and $50. This gave the company a market cap of $26 to $30 billion, which still seemed like a good opportunity for some investors. Unfortunately, the stock eventually opened up at $146, three times that initial valuation and quickly surged higher to reach a $100 billion market cap. The company now has the same market cap as competitor Booking.com, despite turning over and earning a fraction of their larger rival. Although I think that Airbnb could one day surpass its competitor, the price of both stocks seem to already reflect this. And as much as I love Airbnb, and I say this as somebody who's used the platform for eight years, I'm not 100% certain that they are safe from their rivals. I've seen a clear improvement in the likes of Booking.com recently, and it's clear to me that they, as well as others, are pivoting in a bid to emulate Airbnb's business model. This attempt may be futile in much the same way that many retailers were too late to respond to Amazon, yet there's a chance that Booking will do to Airbnb what Facebook has done to competing social media platforms platforms, namely copy them, then use their superior finances and network to crush the competition. Airbnb is now big enough that I doubt their rivals can actually crush them. However, we will soon see how big Airbnb's moat really is. Lastly, not only is Airbnb very pricey compared to their industry peers, but the stock is very expensive full stop. Here you can see a table comparing the fundamentals of 25 of the most popular growth stocks. In fact, this table shows you that only Snowflake, Lemonade and Virgin Galactic are more expensive than Airbnb on a price to sales ratio. Not only that, but these three companies are growing their revenue between four to 10 times faster than Airbnb. Therefore, if all four of these stocks perform similarly over the next couple of years, Airbnb could well become the most overpriced stock on the market. That's the kind of title that can spark a huge sell-off, but if it does, I'll be waiting. Before you go, please click the like button. It takes literally two seconds, whereas I'll be honest, it took me an embarrassing amount of time to make this video. Please show me that it's worthwhile spending my evenings making these videos and subscribe to the channel. Keep me motivated to produce more videos on all of the best growth stocks and cryptocurrencies out there. Stay tuned because I've got loads of cool videos in the pipeline. Obviously, if you subscribe, you'll get a notification when they come out. That way you'll be able to act fast and hopefully make or save yourself some more money on the stock market. In the meantime, check out my website, tradingplaces.com. And remember that your money should be working for you and not the other way around. <laughs>